Oi, I'm Louis Jessup. In today's build video, we're building a gantry crane. It all starts with a plan. Beams, eight foot, eight foot, eight foot. Very little cutting. And my actual hoist thing. Perfect. So I'll pick up some screws, some glue, and some timber. All cost me $129. Beats the $800 Harbor Freight one, so let's see what we can make out of this. And I've got pretty basic tools, drill driver, drill, saw, right angle, measuring tape, and glue. That's all you need. Oh, and some drill bits, of course, but yeah. And this right here is a basic layout. You have your uprights and your cross beam. Now my cross beam is gonna be two two by sixes, one on each side of the four by fours with two by four stringers going in between. Yep. First, I'm going to just screw it together, glue and screw, square it up. And once it's together on each side, I'll run a big old bolt through it and bolt it down nice and tight. I'm using a 10 by 4 and now that it's locked in on both sides you don't want to go ahead and flip it over yet because you want to lock it in with a nice angular brace as well that way it holds its square you flip it over it could move around and shift you don't want that so we're gonna do some supports from the beam to the actual up here. Since we have a gap between a 2x6 and a 4x4, I'm going to put a 2x4 up here for this board to rest on and also for the stringer to tie into. And these will go right here. And that's how it should look. Just one foot piece, spreader, and now we'll run a support piece for the angle right here. And for sake of making it uniform, I measured from this corner 18 inches and put a little mark. So I want the end of the board to be at the mark and the corners to butt up right here. And we'll mark it and cut it. I'm, I'm just... And like so. Gonna glue and screw that as well. And now that side is very solid. No more walking. And now with it starting to look like something, flip it over and do the exact same on the other side. So now that the top is a mirror of itself, I'm going to run some supports in between the 2x6s um, to kind of just tie everything together. My winch is going to sit on top and the cable is going to come down in the middle of it. And the battery will either sit on the corner somewhere or up top. So this is going to be pretty interesting. We'll definitely have to use a ladder to hook it up, but you hook it up, you use it, and you just take it back down. And this will be a multi-purpose gantry. The supports are going to have eye holes for hammock chairs for when it's not being used to crane stuff. So multi-purpose. So every two, well, two feet from here, there'll be a two by four stringer on both sides. So two by four, two by four. Perfect. I have screwed both the sides and now I'm going to drill it. And now we have two hooks. I went ahead and I sunk this bad boy all the way up in there. So that should be plenty of engagement for swings and tying stuff to it. Yep, it's going to work. Now I gotta work on how I'm gonna mount the winch. Now this is a Tracker Supply Traveler 9000. I've had this for a little bit. Um, this will be fixed to the top of the thing, but it will be removed most of the time so it doesn't stay out in the weather. So we're gonna figure out a way to put that up there. So this is what I've come up with to mount my winch. It's a piece of angle on a two x four. There's a through bolt going through the angle and to, through the two x four. Um, and the bolts are recessed into the top. 
So the only mounting point for the actual winch is through here, and this will be screwed into the actual crane. So the winch will just, you pull the bolt out and take the winch off. The winch will be nice and secured to this piece of angle. And the fair lead cable will run through the middle, and the fair lead will attach to the bottom somehow. Haven't worked that out. And that's how it's going to work. Piece of angle iron bolted to the 2x4, attached to the winch, recessed bolts for the winch, and uh, this is pretty solid. It's not going to smush a 2x4. And this will be tied into the top of the crane, glued and screwed, of course, and then probably a gusset across the front and stuff. So it'll be all tied together. But for now, I got to go lug this heavy thing over there. I think first I should make the legs just do this on the top. That way I can get nice and square. So my legs are going to be four feet long a piece. I'm going to take this two by six, cut it in half, and gusset it with two by fours. So two by six will go right here. Two feet this way, two feet that way, and angular gussets. Should be pretty good. So here's my leg. Um, I've measured to the center, and then one and three quarter this way, and one and three quarter this way, so I can get centered along this beam. I'll get it centered on the bottom and square it up with the triangle. And that's a foot. So just like the top using boards to sandwich and make everything level, we're doing it down here with a two foot board and we'll have a one going all the way up there and then one a little lower. So it'll be nice and strong. This thing is starting to look like a gantry crane now with that support. Heck yeah. Getting there. So I just stood it up so I can flip it and get this these legs, but Starting to look like a little crane. Couldn't see that when it was on the solar horses, but uh, pretty good. And that's one side of the legs done. I didn't want to match them because I wanted this one to butt up against it to be even more secure. It's glued, it's a T right here, and they're all glued and screwed to this 4x4. So this thing is very stout now. All right. And next. I'm going to do the other side just like this, and then we'll come back and put bolts everywhere. And to break down our bolts, we have half inch by 8, by 10, and by 6. Two of those half inches by 8s are going right here. The 10 is going right here. Same over there. And two bolts here on both sides. So we'll get to drilling. So torquing the bolts allowed extra penetration for the glue and everything and just really locked it in got one up here as well and let me tell you i had to get creative for that long distance so you see a socket an extension a drill bit and an adapter and another one and uh yeah we got it And now we're going to structurally weight test this thing. Uh, the glue isn't cured, but we've got bolts and everything's pretty solid. So uh, there goes nothing. Well, it holds two humans. And let's just say we weigh combined of like 300 pounds. So that's pretty good weight test from these hooks. Um, I think a cab weighs around 500 pounds, but Huh? It's a little more than us. Yeah. But this it things didn't even move. So it holds 40 more pounds, so 340, and we're fine. Yep. We're good. This will do truck stuff. And the real reason I added these uh, hooks and stuff, other than bracing, is how often do you use a, uh, a wooden gantry crane at your house? So this thing is going to be multi purpose. I want to add some stuff for hammocks. Got these hammock chairs hanging up. It'll look pretty good behind our house. Uh, we don't have a deck yet, but this is a good thing to hang out and get some sun. So it'll make Casey happy. And it's not just you build it and then you set it aside and you're done with it. So you can hang anything you want from this thing. So I picked up all my tools for the day. I'm gonna let this thing lock in, all the glue dry, and tomorrow we'll build the cradle for the bodies and the winch mount. So these little box blocks right here are going to spread the distance between the two by sixes up top and it's going to allow me to map my winch, screw it through these, glue, and this will be the two by six right here. So two of these 
for a winch and two for the fair lead. All right, like so. So the winch will sit on top and then be screwed underneath and the auto weight will be on these beams. Perfect. And there we go, the winch is up there. Um, battery will sit off here, just kind of tight in place. And the controller will dangle down. And I'm gonna put the fair lead right inside of here. That'll be perfect. So the cradle is going to attempt its first lift. It is the parts truck cab. I've got the chassis sold. And we need to get the cab off, so this will do it. So a 2x4 does not take the load of a truck cab, just a heads up. Yeah, I was lowering it back down, and bam, all good, it's okay. So the gantry is holding the cab fine, um, my spreader broke, and I need to raise this thing up a little bit if I'm going to do bigger stuff, but she's working for now have a strap going around this way and one going around that way but parts truck is a part and that's the gantry crane hope you guys enjoyed i am going to build like a base for it out of like some four by fours to lift up a little higher because as you saw it wasn't high enough so eight feet isn't tall enough we need more probably do maybe two or three feet more stackable and might make it rollable or make it just come apart who knows the world is your oyster when it comes to building things so just build it however you want it well, thanks for watching hope to see you guys in another video